Hey Stampers, Diane Dimmich here with DeeDeeStamps.com and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this card using our Happy Scenes stamp set and our coordinating hearth and home framelits, which is the window and the windowsill. So let's get started. To begin with, I took a piece, on this one I'm doing a little bit of watercoloring, and so I took a piece of our shimmery white cardstock, and this is just a small piece, it's two and a half by three and a quarter, and I will put all the measurements up on my website and the products I use, so you'll have that, um, you can just click in the, in the, click above there and you'll have that, but um, that's what I'm using today to stamp with, because I like to use watercolor and I like that cardstock because it holds up to water better. So I'm also bringing in our archival black ink, and this is new to the to the product line within the last month or so. It's um, an archival quality ink that is great for watercoloring. Um, and I just love it because it's so nice and black and it works great with all of our stamps up, whether they're photopolymer or the or the rubber mount. So to begin with, like I said, I just stamped that with the archival black ink and then I'm going to come in and I'm actually going to do a little watercoloring first and then I'll come back in and color in um, a few of those items on there. So I'm using an aqua painter. This is just a watercolor brush that actually has water in the tube. You get two per pack. Um, I like it because number one you get a continuous flow of water when you're watercoloring and you also don't have the mess. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of mossy meadow and pick up, oh, I should probably show that to you. So I just go right into the lid. I squeezed the lid of the ink pad, squeezed it down, and then when I open it up, I have a nice palette to use for watercoloring. And so I'm just gonna pick up some of that, and I don't want it to be too dark, so that's why I blended it out here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and color it right onto my image, take it all the way down until it go fades away. This is actually gonna be down, a lot of this is gonna be right below where, where it shows in the window. But you can just see how fast and easy this is to watercolor. And honestly, anybody can do this. Especially using an aqua painter because it does most of the work for you. And anytime I see a shadow like under the pumpkin there, just make it a little bit darker. So make it look like the shadow. Okay, so there's the grass done. Oh, I better do this side because I'm not really sure how much is gonna show. I think that might show a little bit more. So I'll just blend that out a little bit. Okay, now to clean off the, to actually clean off the um, aqua painter, you're just gonna run it onto a piece of scratch paper until it runs clear. And then once it's clear, you can change out colors. So then I'm gonna come in with some pool party. And we're going to do the same thing, only we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. And remember, we can go ahead and get that wet in that tree where it's stamped. It's not going to bleed out because of that archival quality of that ink. And I'm just going to drag that. I see up here I got a little bit of the mossy meadow green specks on there. It must have happened when I opened, when I closed the ink pad. But I'm just going to keep working because once I show you how to do this, it won't matter. So there you have your black background. And very simple to do. Again, you're just going to wipe this onto a piece of cardstock to clean it off. And then I'm actually going to come in with a couple of markers. And this is the Tangelo Twist. And our markers are great because they have a bullet point on one side and a brush end on the other. I'm going to go ahead and use the brush end. And I am just going to color in my pumpkins. And then to dot a couple of these leaves with the orange. And then I'm going to come in with, do the same thing with the mossy meadow, dot a couple of the leaves. I think I got them all. There you have it. So there's that piece is colored and ready to go. And then what I did is I actually came in with that framelit set. Of course, it comes with the window and the window sill. I'm just going to use the window for this project. 
And I'm using a piece of the Happy Haunting Designer Series paper, and I like this because it kind of looked like old wallpaper, and that's what I wanted it to look like. I wanted it to look like you're looking outside the window, um, and this is the wallpaper of the house. And so this is going to get attached directly to my piece of cardstock with some snail adhesive, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut the window out, and I'm using the and I'm using Tangelo Twist, and I'm just going to go ahead and run this through my Big Shot and cut out a window. Once I've got that cut out, you're going to go ahead and just pull this off the pull that off the um, platform, and then the window. Mine actually just pops out, which is great. But if it doesn't, it has these little holes that you can go ahead and poke out. And so now I've got my window done, and I've got all these little rectangles that I can use for something. I haven't decided what yet, but I'll figure out something. I'm going to take my piece of designer series paper. I'm going to attach my... I'm going to go ahead and attach the piece that I watercolored. Just add that on there. I'm going to come in with a couple of dimensionals on the back of my window and I am going to add dimensionals onto that. That will just give a little lift to that window. And you know, if I really wanted to go all out, I could have put a window sheet back here to make it look like it was actually looking out a window, but I'm not sure that I needed that. And the nice thing about using this little window is that a lot of that green that I had messed up on and gotten it on my piece of cardstock is now covered up. That's how quickly it is to make a window. And then this is going to get attached. And I used a very vanilla card base, so I used a half a sheet of very vanilla, cut it five and a half, scored it four and a quarter, and folded. And that gives me my card base. And I can just attach that right down to my piece of cardstock and my card is complete. So just a really fun and easy way to use um, this stamp set and that framelits together. And the nice thing is, is they come as a bundle so you can save 15% by the purchase of the, of the Happy Scenes and the, and the um, Hearth and Home Framelit Bundle. So I will post the supplies on my website. You're free to click above to, to get there. And if you haven't already done so, you may want to sign up for my newsletter where I send out tips, tricks, and techniques each week um, using Stampin' Up! Supplies. So thank you, and I hope you have a great day.